It's hard working as a bouncer because you get a lot of insults on the door. Like, no one told me this, right? I'll tell you the worst thing that was ever said to me working the doors. It was from a student, little shit. <laughs> nah, keep raising those fees. Fuck them, right? <laughs> nah, I'm over it, right? <laughs> a fight kicked off. I shot this kid out. He just looked at me and he went, yeah, you're a bouncer. Is that what you always wanted to be? I said, oh, you're cutting deep there. <laughs> like, don't ask me a question. Just say something about my mom. Like, make it easy, because what do you say to that? That's not how being a bouncer works. There was no moment when I realized I wanted to be a bouncer. It's not like I was in school as a kid, and my teacher sent me out the class for talking, and I stood next to the door, and I was like, actually, I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> yeah, I think the career opportunities are out here, to be honest with you. It's just... I never worked nice clubs. Everywhere I worked was like really rough. Uh, so rough that I had to wear a bulletproof vest. Yeah, sorry, a second-hand bulletproof vest. Yeah, that was all I could afford. I got it from this guy's house. He just sold bulletproof vests. Apparently, that's a career choice you can have. And I said to him, I said, oh, I don't have a lot of money. Like, which is your cheapest one? And he went, this one. And it was, it was definitely second-hand. Like, I knew it was second-hand because it had somebody else's name tag in it. I was like, hey, um, did Gary make it? Like, <laughs> Gary's all right, right? And as I paid for it and I'm walking out the door, he goes, oh, quick reminder, quick reminder about this vest. It's got a 20-meter radius on it. I've gone, oh, yeah, I know what that means. So if somebody was to, you know, like, shoot me within 20 meters, I'll be all right. He goes, no, they have to be outside 20 meters. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's very fucking different. I'm not trying to avoid sniper fire. <laughs> and I still took it and I would wear this vest on these really rough nightclub doors. And I'd always think to myself, man, if somebody was to like pull a gun out now and try and shoot me, I'd have to use like reverse psychology or something. Just ooh, anyone can shoot from that distance. Call yourself a man, you better go 21 meters away. That's, <laughs> let's say 25 just to be safe, just. <laughs>